good morning my dear students happy to see you and i'm so glad to stand in front of you at this moment and this morning i hope you are all listening our classes and you are learning what we are explaining every day and what we are sending to you all the classes uh, and once again i'm so happy to stand and to explain about all these classes since uh, from the beginning onwards we have been learning a uh, classes for english and we have learned pronouns and the next personal pronouns and we have learned genders today we have we are going to learn about this personal pronouns plurals okay are you ready are ready to listen to the class right well good now before i would like to enter into the class i want to explain this plurals we have two types of personal plural, personal pronouns yesterday i mean in the last class we have learned about singulars right so today we are learning about plural singulars are plural so very important to understand if we know what is a plural and what is a singular we can easily write and we can easily speak english right all right now see these are all called plurals let us see here students i hope you are writing these classes are you ready okay if you are writing that's well and good and it's up to you and it's for you right if you write you just uh, note all these uh, points into your notes now plurals now let us see we 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 will use this we when we are talking about uh, more than one person right for example i can do the work i know the place or i know my school right we are family members understand we are family members we are going to school every day we are living in the house let us see the next one our it is our school building it is our place we have school right we have our school that is our school you understand we can talk our also we use about uh, plurals and when we have so when we are speaking this word we have to remember that our whenever we are thinking in this way in telugu we have to use this our as that is as right as is a little different to understand when you are talking as as it is uh, like for example if someone is asking you uh, are you staying we are using this word as for example this as 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 belongs to when you are talking about and you, when you are explaining about you yours it is like it belongs to you at the time you can say us it is us like us the time you can use i will just uh, come to this point once again so let us see the second person here these words we have to use only in the plural right now see i will give uh, if it is possible i will give some examples for this in the next class now let us see here for the second person second person right now you we have two types of use number one you can use for a singular and the same word you can use for plural how you can use the same word for two types and for the two people i will just tell you when you are speaking with a single person it means you are just talking with the same person and it means one person you are talking you are talking with one person in the same way we will just i would like to tell another way the same situation right the same way when you are using this word once number of people or number of uh, uh, students are sitting in front of you you can use you you are all students you are indians you are all listening the class you are absorbing the board right we can speak and we can talk in this way yours it is yours it is ours like right? how we say ours like right? it is yours right 
did you understand? It is your, it is ours. We can speak like this. But us, it belongs to us. It is us. Right? Now, with whom you are talking? I am talking with you. I am talking with us. I am talking with myself. That is all called for singers. Now, let us see yours. The building is yours. Is it yours? Yes, it is mine. Is it yours? It is yours, right? Like this we can speak. Now, let us see the third person here. These are all called and these are all using for the third person. Yesterday, I have given, in the last class, I have given one class for you, right? So, whenever two persons are talking about the another person, he or she or it called third person, right? Those are all called third persons, but they are in singulars, right? Now, we are talking about plurals. Now, them. It is belongs to them. It is connecting with them. They have connection with them. We can use them, right? Now, coming to here. They. Indian team is playing with their people. Okay? They are coming to play with Indians. Indians. The cricket is going between Indians and Pakistanis, right? They are players. They are cricket players. They are teachers. We can use like this. Now, come to here. There's <coughs> this word. There is when we are talking completely. This belongs to them. We have to use there. It is their beliefs. Like it's their belief. It's their classroom. Their playground. It is their like this. We can go. We have uh, types of. Uh, like meanings like they is different, there is different, right? There, 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 right? Like they is different, there is different, right? These words we can use in a plural form. Oh, my dear students, once again, I would like to tell you see, if you don't understand and don't think bad and don't think, uh, don't get scared, I hope you are understanding. And when you understand, why we just uh, Give some examples if it is possible in the next class. Until then, you try to absorb and take the notes. And when I am uh, when I am going to come next uh, class, and when I would like to, when uh, I am planning to see your notes after these all classes. If I come to your places, I will just explain even in Telugu also. For you, don't worry. Now I will. I have. Uh, spoken about all these words, right? So these are words are these are words are when we are talking about a particular person, right? A particular people. At that time, we have to use all these words. Now let us see. This is the first person, second, and third person. We have three persons, right? The first person always about us. The second person when you are speaking and the person is listening, he is for a second person. But the third person is the person who is far from us, he or she or third person, right? Now, I would like to tell you once again, just how to conclude with this. Now, first person always speaks. The one who is speaking, he is called the first person. And the one who is listening, he is called a second person. The first person and second person will speak each other uh, about the another person. He is called a third person, right? Understand? So first and second persons are speaking about whom? They are called third person. Those are called singular. These are called plurals. Thank you once again. Thank you so much for listening these classes. And my dear parents, it is my pleasure to share all these classes to you. Once again, thank you so much for supporting and I need, we need your support and I hope you are all supporting your students, I mean your children. Thank you so much. We will see you in the next class. Until then, bye-bye. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.